There's some action in the suit against CRST, an antitrust suit filed by drivers, and the Department of Justice has weighed in on it. Let's see what they have to say about it. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your Gold Rush host. And there's an antitrust suit against CRST by drivers. Because what happens, here's the little back, the back story of this. When you go to work for them and a lot of places, okay, but they're named in this suit, so let's talk about the, how this works. And you go there because they tell you a bunch of stuff that are lies and then you quit and try to go somewhere else. You go, I'm gonna to go to this place, that place, whatever. You put down, yeah, I worked over at CRST. They go to check and CRST says, hey, you can't hire this person. They work here, that's, that's you can't poach them from our company. Well, I've always said as a non-lawyer, I'm not a lawyer, right? So this isn't legal advice, that you can't do that. People can work wherever they want. I said, look, if, if there's an agreement at CRST that you pay so many dollars, if you don't stay so long, that's one thing, but they can't blackball you out of the industry, which is basically what they're doing. Well, so drivers sued them, right? They're saying, look, we were shot out of the industry. Department of Justice just recently put a paper out for this suit, basically an interest paper that says, here's our opinion on it. The Department of Justice says that it is per se illegal to ban people from working, that it creates an environment, which I love, that reduces the overall pay of the industry. Boom, that's why they do it. Because they wanna pay you crap to do work for their garbage company. And that it is not right, and you can't blackball people. You can ask them to pay you, you can force them to pay you, whatever, but you can't godfather your way through and say, hey, we're gonna be out of this whole industry, right? You can't do any of that, can't. That's what the Department of Justice said. Now, is that like some written law that this is the end of it? No, but that carries a lot of weight in this kind of suit. Because who do these places have to deal with? The Department of Justice, okay? So that is a big problem for them. And that's what I always said. Look, when you go to any of these garbage places, you should just think, you know, what if it doesn't work out? As hard as it is to believe, they may lie to you and not completely be telling you the whole story. I know it is hard to believe that, but it is true, my friends. So this is pretty interesting news. And let's see where the case goes now. What I always thought is this case, like all of these cases, is going to settle. And I'm so disappointed at that. I wish somebody would take this out as I fall down. I had to move because of the geese. I wish somebody would take this case all the way. Please, my friends, I'm telling you. CRST, any of these places, these large, probably the large 10 places, just bypass them, all right? And yes, some people have good experiences there, but overall, the overall idea is so low that just bypass them. And these, I cannot tell you the letters I get from people that work at CRST, how bad they are about trying to enforce this. If you can't keep people, you gotta go force them, say, look, you'll be out of this whole industry if you don't work here. What kind of place does that say that you have, all right? Not a great place, so bypass it is my opinion. All right, they could put out all their fancy ads. They're putting out $100,000. All right, I wanna see one person that's made that there. Uh, so let's see about that. Department of Justice is on our side. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon with another Trucking Answers. Yikes.